if is total geothermal power system this is total geothermal power system now one by one component we are going to explain we are going to explain c i am going to explain now c this is these two are turbines these two are turbines actually this is the 5 megawatt of geothermal power plant 5 megawatt of geothermal power plant these two are turbine let's one by one check it out turbine inside i'm going to hide it how to, how they connect the turbine see the turbine component how here is the connected the connected to the shaft here in shaft is there no this this is the one component of shaft shaft okay now here another one turbine another one turbine this tur these two turbine in a single shaft they connected a single shaft two turbines and this is the generator and this is the alternator the two alternators and they uh, nearly six or seven of bearings and couplings so many things are there couplings and components now what is the principle of uh, turbine what is the main principle of turbine turbine is the heat energy is converted to mechanical energy where you are going to get a heat energy heat energy you are going to uh, we are going to get a heat energy from the uh, uh, heat energy uh, heat energy where from boiler or maybe separator here geothermal we don't have any boiler directly Uh, from earth surface only we are collecting we are from this uh, this component from earth surfaces only we are collecting the fluid that hot fluid directly we are sending a separator this is the one component of separator in separate they are going to separate any unwanted material they are going to send uh, eject to the outside and remaining they are going to send to the turbine this turbine whatever the velocity of the fluid we are getting depends upon that velocity of the heat energy is converted to the mechanical energy Uh, due to this mechanical energy uh, mechanical energy shaft is going to rotate the shaft is uh, coupled with a generator and alternator it going to rotate now what is the function of this gate box what is the function of the gate box gate box generally for reducing the speed uh, purpose they are going reducing and increasing the speed purpose they are going to use Act, uh, what is the purpose uh, generally generator speed standard generator 1500 rpm maximum we have as per the 1500 above the 1500 rpm Uh, if you are if you are getting from turbine turbine automatically the uh, automatically the generator is going to collapse that's why for reducing purpose gear box we are going to use this is one uh, one main uh, gear box mm, now let's come to the after ejecting after ejecting of the turbine directly we are sending to the uh, earth surfaces now here they are he, uh, here what is these components these components is the cooling towers these components are the four cooling tower why because uh, very hot fluid down that's why we are uh, hot fluid condition very hot fluid condition they are going to convert hot fluid to the cold fluid now uh, let's check it out now let's close this component sorry this is the uh, solar panels it is a parabolic type of solar panels this is a parabolic type of solar panels this is the receiver this component is the receiver this uh, sun rays is coming like this and uh, uh, receiving the sun rays as per that they are going to uh, adjust this this is the one as fresnel type of collector generally we are calling it a fresnel type of collector and the next uh, next thing is this is the separator separator component how they created separator and uh, next thing is see this is another different type of uh, fresnel type of parabolic fresnel type of collectors is the uh, that is the sun rays the sun rays is coming the rays like this and receiving these rays inside they are we are sending the hot flow uh, we are sending the cold flow in 
whenever the sun rays is coming to the uh, coming absorbing the flat plate uh, absorbing the this parabola flat plate collector automatically this rays is uh, concentrated to the receiver outside the outlet of receiver we are going to collect the hot plate